Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, we're back again with another video and today's video is about how to get started into Cubase. Um, also how to set up your Cubase properly. Uh, there's a lot of issues with Cubase uh, that I've been, uh, been, people have been asking me about and one of the main things I've heard is that people tend to create a lot of projects together um, and they, they, they don't actually make a, a, a proper startup folder. Uh, now, but by doing that, that means all of the audio that you bounce and record um, in that session goes onto your hard drive in the same place in like an untitled document. And what you'll find with that, yeah, is um, when you go to um, export your songs or you want to back them up or you want to share them, you're going to have all your audio in one big massive mess. And it's going to be totally disorganized, which really is going to be, um, it's, it's impossible. So I'm just going to just give you a quick little brief on how to set up Cubase properly, Cubase 8.5, which um, is which I'm running at the moment now. Another thing I want to say as well is uh, I'm thinking about starting up a few Cubase 8.5 collaborations in VST Transit to see how that goes. Um, so I'll be doing limited uh, users. Uh, so what I want you to do is, uh, if all, all the Cubase 8.5 users out there, it's a small update that you've got to do on the Steinberg's website. Um, it for Cubase 8 users, I did it, it was about 35 quid or something to upgrade and basically um, the scenario with that is uh, you give your username, um, you give your user ID and then I can share a project with you and then we can kind of put down bits and pieces on that project and see where it gets to. So that's going to be another video anyway but in the meantime leave your um, Cubase username in the description down below and uh, I'll holler at you. Anyway, um, so when you first go to um, load up Cubase, you're faced with this um, really maybe confusing for some, um, you know, screen. And, and basically it shows you all your recent files, your recordings, um, you know, your different types of recording scenarios. So basically what these are, they're, they're presets. Um, you know, if you're doing scoring, then you'd use this page and you select, you know, whatever you need from here. If you're doing production, uh, again, you would select if you're doing R&B, if you're doing jazz, if you're doing electronic, uh, electro production, hip hop. And basically what this does is it just gives you uh, a, gen a generic kind of setting of some probable instruments that you would use and some settings that you would use if you were doing that type of music. Um, so... I mean, usually for me, I don't usually use any of this stuff. Um, you know, you go to more, you can just you, you can just go to empty or you can just go down there where it says create empty. Um, along here, it tells you all the updates, what's going on new with Cubase and all the latest downloads. Some are free, you know, some get some free downloads in there and whatever. Um, and basically you click create. And now this is the most important part when you're creating a project. This is where all your work will, could go schizo if you don't do this properly. So you would go to your, you, you set your folder all nice and organized, and this is per song, yeah? You click, you hit the new folder button, obviously you know how to do that, and you call it whatever the song name is, if it's Bad Boy Tune, Bad Boy YouTube. Let's say, for example, you click on that, and then you click open. Now that will create anything that you do in this song or import, it goes into that folder so it's safe and sound. Now, a lot of people just click create and then they just go and they, they start the song and they don't do that bit. And then what happens again, they say to me, I'll be, you know, boy, I don't know where all my audio goes. And, uh, you know, I can never like back up my projects properly because I've got a hard drive full of 60 gig worth of audio that I've done since I've been using Cubase. And that this is the reason why. So it's important to do that. So for those of you who are starting out, I'm hopefully saving you uh, making that mistake. Okay, so once you've done that, yeah, there's a few things you've got to do to make sure you know Cubase works properly. Uh, you'd go to device setup uh, and you go to the ASIO settings, providing your sound card is all set up properly. Uh, you'd make sure that your ASIO settings um, is set here to your sound card. Uh, you click on your sound card and it would say, actually if you want to keep your settings or you want to switch, you click switch. Um, and a few things to look out for is obviously your input latency and your output latency. If, you're la if your latency is, is too high, uh, then you're going to get that kind of, um, when you press a keyboard, it's going to be like, ping, 
after after you press and not bang on when you press yeah so that's what's late latency is about in the most simplest way possible um you set your sample rate up uh, you can work at 44.1 which is CD quality uh, or you could take it up to uh, 32 uh, you know most of the time I work at 44.1 I can take it up sometimes if I want to try and get it to sound a little bit more polished I'd work at like maybe um, a higher sample rate they, they, I don't think there's something that you could change here um, and the next thing I think that you should go to um, after that is go into let's see now um, what else can I give you here now? Uh, I'd say VST connections. Go to your VST connections. Make sure you have a bus added and make sure your audio device, device is, is selected here. And then you have your main outputs. Now, whatever outputs you set here is whatever outputs is going to play out. So make sure your speakers are connected to uh, that, uh, that connection there. Yeah. <clears throat> And there's your outputs. Your inputs, if you're recording audio, uh, you want to set your inputs to either mic in or line in or whatever it is you're doing. Obviously, if you're recording vocals, then you're going to set it to your mic in. You're going to plug your mic into uh, your the front of your sound card, uh, which is also very important. Uh, the next thing to do is to just um, get, you know put down something and make see if it's you know see if it uh, plays okay. In our case, we're going to do a VST instrument. Uh, we're going to go to here. We're going to go to Groove Agent. Probably there already. Let's have a look. Yeah, Groove Agent. So we click on that. Click Add Track. And then let's see what happens. So once you do that now, it's going to create um, a MIDI track for you. Um, just here. And Okay, so next you go to here and you load your sound in. And it will load in. And there you go. So okay, so when you go into this control panel, there's another thing here you can do here. You can set your buffer up. Now this is this can this uh, affects your latency. Uh, the higher the buffer, uh, the big the the bigger the latency. The lower the buffer, the lower the latency. Uh, you want to sort of set it in the middle, because if if your buffer's too small, uh, then what you'll find. Let's just do a quick little check here. So you can see your input and output latency. Let's change this from two five six to thirty two. Right, you can see. That I'm getting one input latency, so that's super duper. But the chances are, if you set it to that, you're going to get cracks and popples in your audio. So you don't really want to do that unless your system allows it. So two five six is a good setting for me. So you know that your audio is working fine, and that's pretty much the basics of setting up your Cubase project um, to work. Um, if you found this video useful, please give it the thumbs up. Uh, it's intended for those of you starting out and hopefully if there's something that maybe you've, you've been doing on here that you, you didn't realise, especially that folder, because that folder throws a lot of people. Uh, you give us a, a thumbs up and also share the video. Don't forget to check out my sample pack on www.sampleloids.co.uk. Uh, there's a world of sounds and samples on there for you guys to check out, um, including my choppage sample pack. Um, at the moment, for all of my uh, viewers, um, I've got a a code um, that gives you 20% off. Um, so if you go to the website now and type in W, sorry, YT 20% off, YT so as in YouTube 20% off, uh, you'll get 20% off um, and have the opportunity to do that on checkout. If you get any problems with that, just hit, all you got to do is hit the contact button here. And I'll be on the other end of the contact button to help you out with any queries and any, uh, you know, technical support, etc, etc. Uh, take care. God bless. Peace.